So a man who donated sperm is now being forced to pay child support, 40% of his paycheck for the next 18 years. And it's a really sad story. Basically, when he was young, he basically needed some cash and he donated some of his genetic material. And I think he got something like $150 for it. But years later, the woman who used that genetic material to have a kid found a legal loophole after evidently the laws had changed and she was able to successfully go after him and sue him for child support. And now he's on the hook to pay child support for a child that is not his. And when he donated the genetic material, he was told that, you know, he would have no responsibility for it or face any legal consequences for providing it. And now that's no longer the case. We have the video. It's from The Quartering. You can go and check his channel out. It's linked in the description of the video. But it's absolutely awful what's happening here. And these are the consequences for men. And, of course, there will be simps. There will be women who basically say that we're losers. We don't want to man up. We're just looking for, you know, any case to say that, you know, women are trying to take advantage of men or we're trying to deviate from the hardships that women go through. They want to silence us. This is, and guys, this, this is happening to men all around the United States. Like, this is 100% slavery. And it's facilitated by women and the state. And simps, of course, are perfectly fine with this. And a lot of them don't care until it happens to them. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, well, I feel like this is going to speak for itself. I successfully sued my sperm donor, and now I get 40% of his paycheck. I'm a sperm donor, and yes, I've been court-ordered to pay roughly 40% of my paycheck to this random woman and her child. Um, the thing is, is, when I was 18, 19 years old, I was in the Marines, short on cash, and I thought it would be a good idea to donate some sperm for some easy money. Mm -hmm. I made a total of $150, and it came back to bite me because now I'm paying this woman thousands of dollars a month. For a child i had no part in making or wanting um I he should sue her for custody he should he should sue her for custody then because if he has to pay child support then he should get some level of custody i did sign an agreement at the time stating that i would not be held liable for anything that happens to the sperm after i donated it but i guess some laws changed and she found a legal loophole that <laughs> loophole states that i now have responsible for the child so now i pay I have to pay her monthly. It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm working on appealing it. So if anybody has any ideas or knows anybody who knows a good lawyer, um, send them my way because this is just unfair. Now think about this very carefully, guys. How is he going? What is he? By the time, if he succeeds, he'll have spent tens of thousands, tens of thousands of dollars trying to fight this thing. If he fails, he will have lost tens of thousands of dollars trying to fight this thing, maybe even more. And in the end, he'll still end up having to pay. This is the reality for men. When I say that this society, it does not like us. It resents us. It does not even want us here. The only purpose that we serve is so that it can extract wealth and resources from us. Now, consider this, men. Consider this. If this is what men are experiencing in Western society, and we've been experiencing this for so long, and women are silent about it, they watch, they hear these things, and they celebrate these things. They celebrate this happening to us. Imagine what happens when consequences, when, when, the tyran when our tyrannical state decides that it's going to give women similar treatment, when their privileges run out. Women believe that their rights are absolute, Okay. They believe that their rights come from themselves, that they are, you know, they are all powerful. They don't believe that the things that are happening to men can actually happen to women. And they think that somehow if, you know, when, when tyranny comes, they're going to stand up to the state and the state is going to obey them or their sibs are going to are going to go out there and advocate for them. It's like you don't seem to understand that you've depowered men. Men are the only ones who can stand up to the state. When men are no longer able to or willing to stand up to the state, the state can do whatever it wants. You know, I remember a guy who 
defected from another country that we shall not mention. And he talked about this, how they operated in his country. And, you know, they, they'll, when they want to, you know, create problems in another country, they'll go through a, de they'll utilize a demoralization period. And, you know, this, and they'll basically corrupt the youth. And he, he also said that the people who align themselves with the state, you know, they believe that, you know, they're, that they're going to get special positions and special treatment. He said they're the first ones to go. The state only views them as useful idiots. Okay, these people are gullible. And it's unfortunate, but this is the situation. Men have suffered for so long, and it just keeps on getting worse. And when guys see these videos, it's like the simps just, there's something inside of them makes them want to reject this. They don't want to accept it. They basically will just continue going on like nothing. You have to understand that for a simp, as long as, you know, Unless, as long as their belly is full and their sack is empty, they don't care about anything else. All right? They don't care about anything else. They could care less if the entire world were to suddenly go goodbye. This is the mental state of these people. They will betray any man just to, just to feed their carnal needs. This is one of the things about a lot of guys who are watching my content as well, they only care about their corn and their ability to go and see ladies of the night. And if you mess with those two things, that's when they go ballistic. And they don't seem to understand that those two things are among the two worst things that are destroying society. You get rid of those things, all right? And what ends up happening? Men are forced to wake the hell up. They're going to get angry. They're going to wake up. They're going to start standing up for themselves, okay? This garbage, the corn, the ladies of the night, they make us weak. They take away our natural masculinity, our natural urges to be assertive, to be dominant, to be men. It weakens us. It drains us so that tyrants can do whatever they want, so they can rule. It's a sad, sad thing. And I understand many of you just want to sit back and watch the world burn. But do not understand. Do, don't misunderstand that you're going to you're going to go down with it. And of course, I'm saying when I say this, you know, I'm 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 a hermit, you know. I am a 100 percent hermit where I just really don't want to deal with anyone and their total BS. But at the same time, you know, this garbage, corn, and uh, and ladies of the night, that's they, those are not human rights. Those are not human rights. And some of you don't even seem to care about the notion of disease. It's not cool. This stuff really does exist. And it's terrible. You need to wake the hell up. Okay? It's a form, like, these people, it's a form of worship. And I'll tell you something about them. They take your energy. You think it's fun. These people, they don't like you. You know they don't like you, and I, I get it. But they take your energy. I understand the idea of hiring a professional. You know what? You want to you hire a prof professional? Do it outside of the United States. Go down to TJ, Tijuana. Go and hire. It's legal over there. Go and hire a professional over there. But this garbage is destroying Western society. Only fools has only normalized this degeneracy. Instagram is one of the worst platforms ever created. Okay? Instagram. Which these platforms need to be closed down because of what they are facilitating. They are disgusting and evil platforms that have led to so much division in our society. And they continue to damage the minds of men and youngsters. They are toxic, they are evil, and they are degenerate. And until men wake up and realize that you're going to have to make some sacrifices, and for many of you, you can sacrifice just about anything, but you don't want to sacrifice your corn, and you don't want to sacrifice your, your access to ladies of the night, it's like, what the hell is wrong with you? You know? Like, enough is enough. Wake up. These things are destroying everything and everyone around us. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content on this channel and you want even more of this content, Head over to my 
well, well, actually, let me first let me say, you know, I have a channel called Angry where I discuss gaming, anime, geek stuff, nerd stuff, real world stuff, or whatever else interests me. There's a link to a description of the video. You can check the channel out, subscribe to the channel, support my work. And if you're enjoying the content on this channel, you want even more of this content, you can head over to the Men Walking Away channel. I release daily videos on the Men Awake Walking Away channel, and there's a link to this. To, there's a link to the Men Walking Away channel in the description of the video. Let me know what you guys think regarding everything we discussed here today. The man who donated his genetic material has now been forced to pay child support 40% of his paycheck for 18 years, and all he got out of it was a lousy $150. I mean, I know he's kicking himself for that. I mean, it's, it's sick, and, even, and he doesn't have a lawyer yet, and he, the amount of money he'll likely lose trying to defend himself is going to be ridiculous. And look how happy this woman is to do this. And this is society. This is Western society. It's, the, it's Western society where it's all designed to extract wealth and resources from men. You know, this is what women are there to do is to use basically the state, they're agents of the state, and they work with the state to extract wealth and resources from men. That's all the state, that's all the state wants to do is to put us on the hook for the rest of our lives. So we are paying for the rest of our lives. Let me know your thoughts on this, and we'll talk about everything in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. I'm walking away, and cheers.